Some Hollister residents want Santa Clara County to stop using San Benito County as its dump. And with plans to expand the landfill on the horizon, Hollister locals are worried that the, uh, they'll become a stinky town like Milpitas. Cronin's Amy Larson joins us from Hollister with more on the controversy. Amy, uh, having trash build up and having that kind of odor kind of, uh, you know, just resonate through the city and through the town is, is a concern for, uh, for the residents, uh, undoubtedly. Absolutely. So as far as where the landfill stands right now, 80% of the trash that is dumped at San Benito County's landfill is hauled in from Santa Clara County. Only 20% of the trash being dumped here just outside of Hollister is actually from the local San Benito County residents. The locals are very concerned about this, especially because the county now has new plans in the works to expand this landfill to be more than four times larger and also receive twice as much trash per day. Right now, about 1,000 tons of trash are dumped at the John Smith landfill every day. And the plan is to have 2,300 tons dumped here per day. We still have to go through an environmental impact report, which will take about 14 months. And the county does want to hear feedback from the public on its plans. Earlier this morning, I spoke with local Hollister residents to hear what they think about the future of their county. Let's roll that clip. We need better solutions than just becoming a mega dump. And why do you think other counties want to use San Benito County as their dump? I do think it comes because of the price. It doesn't make any other sense why they would go farther than other dumps, which are closer because it's mostly Santa Clara that's dumping here and there's other ones on the way. So it's got to be because we're more affordable. And so we just need to simply just have rates that are comparable to everyone else. No one's going to drive extra, you know, extra distance. It's not going to be financially feasible. And that's a better solution, in our opinion, than just being low, low cost for out of county and having people constantly bringing their trash here instead. Because once all the trash is here, that's always here. Now San Benito County is just a trash dump. And this is beautiful land and a beautiful area. And I just don't think that's what the, this area needs to make itself, you know, to achieve its potential and also the obviousness of the extra traffic on the roads which are already highly impacted and just really everything that happens with the immediate area the smell that's probably without a doubt going to be here like right now we probably would be wanting to have our masks on uh, for other reasons for all the reasons so um you know just i don't see any positives and i i can't imagine why anybody would want this except for apparently the people that passed it at the top. We just read that Milpitas passed the taxpayers had are paying is it half a million dollars a lot of money left a, a, you know somewhere in the vicinity of almost a million to try to figure out why it smells not even to solve the issue but just to figure out what is making the smell and the particularities of the things that are you know being combusted and breaking down so it's going to be on us going to be on the local people to then decide how do we then f solve the problem which we all know is going to occur it, 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 let's just not have it let's not have a smell let's not have a figure out why which part of it is being smelly you know san benito county spokesman david westrick said nobody really likes dumps but the county does make a lot of money from taking in other counties trash and they use that money to make improvements such as road construction for the towns around San Benito County. It's also it's a revenue source. Um, our county is uh, really uh, funded its revenue through property taxes. We don't have a lot of sales tax so some of those projects that we need to get done like roads and other uh, infrastructure improvements can be used or can be actually funded through projects like uh, the landfill as well. So that's one of them. Um, and uh, the other thing is actually just the expansion of the landfill itself as well. So as a, as a better resource for our community. So um, sometimes uh, those things have to be considered when it comes to kind of moving forward what's best for our community. And that's kind of what the EIR is kind of set to do. Um, and I know that our board will be looking at that really well. The local residents who I talked to question whether the money made at this dump is really going into the towns around San Benito County. They say when they look around, the roads are in disrepair. But just yesterday, the Board of Supervisors approved going forward with three new road projects, including on Fairview Road, and next to Highway 25, where uh, John Smith Road connects to Highway 25. So the county says there are concrete new projects going forward, 
with money made at this landfill to improve the roads around San Benito County. Now, another concern by locals is they're saying this plan is short sighted. They say the new plan going forward will expand the lifetime of this dump to continue dumping waste there for a hundred years down the road. So they say they're not just thinking about themselves, they're thinking about their grandchildren and future generations who will be living here in Hollister with all of this waste left behind. Sanas? All right, Amy, definitely something for the residents there to uh, consider. Thanks so much.